double click on the auditing on the clusters. Yep. Uh, this is something I've had conversations with Vite on. He started Rika and um yeah. and, and I think it's a he had a blog post which kind of shone the light a little bit on how unreliable some clusters are versus others. Correct. Yeah. And sometimes you kind of have to season them and age them a little bit to find like the bad cards. Correct. You have to burn them in. Yep. So what do you do to audit them? There's like a burn-in process, a suite of tests, and then active checking and passive checking. Burn-in process is where you typically run linpack. Linpack is this thing that like a bunch of linear algebra equations that you're you're stress testing. This is a proprietary thing that you wrote. No, no, no. Linpack oh, so okay. lin is like the most common okay, form of burn-in. If you just type in burn-in, um, typically when people say burn-in, they literally just mean linpack. It's like an NVIDIA reference version of this. Um, and again, NVIDIA could run this before they ship, but now the customers have to do it. It's, it's annoying. You're not just checking for the the GPU itself. You're checking like the whole component, all the hardware, and um, it's an integration it's location, test. It's yeah. an integration test. Yeah. yeah. So what you're doing when you're running Limpack or Burnin in general is you're stress testing the GPUs for some period of time, forty eight hours, for example, maybe seven uh, days or so on, and you're just trying to kill all the dead GPUs or any components in the system that are broken. And we've had experiences where we ran Limpack on a cluster and it browns out, like you know, sort of comes offline when you run Limpack. This is a pretty good sign um, that maybe there is a problem with this cluster. And so Linpack is like the most common sort of standard test. 